Hi, it's Jan Hal. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun, quick and easy project for you today. I'm going to show you how to recycle a pair of denim jeans into a garden apron. These garden aprons come in real handy when you're working in the garden and they're really easy to make. You can get fancy and edge the bottom of the apron with bias tape, which is really easy to do, or you can just leave it, finish the edge with a serger or even just fray check. So the items and things that you'll need for the project, you'll need about 10 inches of half inch elastic, of course a pair of jeans. If you are going to bind the edge with bias tape, you will need about two yards of bias tape, half inch double fold. If you want to make your own bias tape that has prints or different colors, I have a tutorial showing you how to do that. That's really easy and a fun thing to do. You'll need a pair of fabric scissors, some fabric clips, and a sewing machine. And that is also optional. I do have another tutorial showing you how to make a more formal utility apron, and I will put the link in the description below for that. So let's get this project rolling. The first thing that you'll do is grab your jeans and cut off the pant legs. Just cut off from There really are a lot of fun projects that you can use this denim for. We're going to be cutting off a section of the front just below the waistband. So on that left side, take your scissors and cut across just below the waistband, not into the waistband, but over about two inches and then cut straight down towards the edge of the pant leg. And on the other side, we're going to get rid of that extra fabric around the zipper. So just take your scissors and cut around that area so it looks like this. We're going to even off the bottom of the apron and just eyeball it and get it parallel straight across, leaving it as long as possible. Again, watching that you don't cut into the pocket. So down that center back seam, there tends to be a little angle or triangle type thing at the bottom. You can just cut that off. And I like to round the corners, especially if I'm using bias tape. You can leave it square if you want. I'm going to get a rounded edge that I like and then I'm going to fold it over and use that as a template to cut the other rounded edge. Now we're going to worry about the pocket in just a minute. If you're applying bias tape, grab the bias tape, place the apron wrong side facing up, fold the top edge of the bias tape over about a half inch, and then apply that fold up just below that zipper tab and clip it in place. And open up the bias tape and just smooth it out and then apply that right edge to the right edge of the apron, lining up the edges. If you didn't know on your fabric clips, that little, the rounded edge is really nice to scoop underneath, especially if you're using a table, it slides it underneath real, a lot easier than using the flat edge. So just a little tip there. You can use the clips or pins to 
apply the bias tape all the way around or sometimes I just like to sew as I go. Make sure you're not cutting the bias tape to length quite yet. We'll do that in just a minute to make sure that we get an accurate fit. It's not a good thing if you cut it and then you, you're sewing it, which takes a little bit more than you think and you don't have enough. So I'm going to find out where it, I need to stop and add about three inches just to give me some playroom. Bring it to the sewing machine. We're using just a straight stitch. We're going to back stitch at the beginning and the end of our seams. And you'll want to bring the needle down just in, just on the outside of that fold of the bias tape. So you don't want to sew right in the crease of the fold, but just to the right of it. That'll give you a little bit more playroom with your bias tape when you fold it around all the fabric. Now the beautiful thing about bias tape is it's going to, you're going to be able to sew around those corners. The, the bias tape will, because it's on the bias, will curve and work really well. So take your time around the corners, stopping and start, starting as you need. And if you mess up, go ahead and use your seam ripper and undo that portion that didn't work out too well and adjust bias tape is really fun to work with it seems intimidating a little bit but it's really fun and it really adds character to your projects especially if you have some fun prints so sew all the way around. And when you start to get a little closer, you can leave your needle down and then cut the bias tape to the length that you need. Now you'll want to fold it over again a half inch and then cut it off there and making sure that that fold is just below the waistband. And of course, back stitch. All right, let's flip it over and top stitch. Again, I'm using a regular straight stitch. And when we're top stitching, I like to add, instead of two and a half inch length, I like to add maybe a three or even three and a half. It just gives a better top stitch. You want to fold the folded edge over the previous stitching so it covers that and sew along the edge there maybe about a, an eighth of an inch or barely inside making sure you're catching the edge take your time around the corners and then when you get back up to the other side we're going to top stitch over that folded edge and you can top stitch that other side if you wanted to now let me show you what to do with the pockets now, not all pockets are going to be this long. We're just going to angle off and cut that and then sew a regular straight seam, just curving it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then to finish off the edge, change your stitch to a big zigzag stitch, back stitch, and sew along the edge of the fabric so it's not going to fray. And do that with both pockets. Let me show you how to apply the elastic for the waistband. Now I recommend trying on the apron and seeing how long you need to make the elastic. Once you have the length, take the elastic, fold it in half, line up the edges of the elastic and stick it through from the front to the back with the edges lined up. And to secure it in place, we'll sew from the back, 
sewing along the edges of the elastic and I like to go back and forth a few times using a zigzag stitch to secure it in place. So that's all there is to it. Grab a pair of jeans, some elastic, your garden tools, and whatever you need to shove in a pocket in the garden. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other patterns and projects on my YouTube channel and in my website, youmakeitsimple.com, where you can find simple, practical patterns and tutorials. Have fun sewing and we'll see you in the next video.